Welcome to the world of Aeternum, one of my favorite places to be these days. I'll give you my casual solo player perspective on New World, and I feel it needs to be one of the top MMORPGs out there for people like me. A big disclaimer here is that I'm not into PvP and haven't done any. I haven't gone to max level, I haven't ended the main storyline, however, I already put over 70 hours into the game over the course of just a couple of months. And what keeps me coming back is what I really want to share. Let me just make a quick detour to tell you about what I absolutely dislike about the game. So let's start with the negative. There are two things. There's no swimming. As someone who started swimming at the age of five, this is very, very triggering, okay? But seriously, every MMO has this. Is it so difficult to implement? The other thing is that when you're swarmed by mobs, it is very possible to become stuck on certain cluttered parts of the environment. And it's truly infuriating but admittedly, it could just be a me thing. And with that out of the way, let me tell you about my favorite thing about this game. The environment. I am a huge gathering at crafting kinda guy. I very much prefer the PvE elements of MMOs, and as such, at a first glance, New World might not be the game for me. However, in Aeternum, players are not forced into PvP and can safely traverse the land. Land which is filled with things to gather. In fact, 99% of what you see, save for mountains, are gatherable, like trees, bushes, mining nodes, you name it. That creates just another level of connection with the environment that I haven't felt before in any MMO. These environments are also gorgeous, and one of my favorite things to do is to just turn off the UI and literally walk for a while, taking it all in. Such a beautiful world, I mean, seriously. With the release of the last DLC, Rise of the Angry Earth, Mounts have been added, which is a much needed addition, though they are locked behind a DLC paywall. Personally, I haven't felt the need for a mount, but it would definitely be nice to have. It feels that something that should have been there since release. But that said, it is very, very enjoyable to traverse the world, and especially with all of the possibilities for fast travel around. One thing that I also appreciate is the crouch and prone mechanics that you have to use in some dungeons to dodge traps, and there is even a climbing mechanic that some quests make use of, so the player has to do these makeshift jumping puzzles to reach the top of a tower, for example. The interactability with the environment is simply something else, and I just love being in this world. I briefly mentioned dungeons, I've only done two so far, and they were interesting, nothing crazy, but I fought few bosses through the main storyline and I can tell you that they get harder as you go and the sense of accomplishment is just amazing, right? Especially when you die once or twice on a boss and then you're finally able to defeat it, it just feels amazing. It also helps that the visual gear progression feels really good. The other day I made a quest that had me gather resources for and craft a heavy gear set. I didn't really know the stats of this gear set until I delivered the quest and the NPC gave it to me as a gift. Getting the materials wasn't easy and when I got the armor on and saw it was really cool and better than what I had, that was an amazing feeling. Seriously, I was looking good, I was strong, I was on top of the world and yet <laughs> the gear score of each piece was only 420. <laughs> And I, I kid you not, it was 420. But you can also craft your gear, and it is totally viable to simply level up through gathering and crafting. And crafted gear also looks really, really good. In fact, you can craft dungeon gear, for example. Best of all, you get that feeling of, I made this and I'll wear it, goddammit. <laughs> it's a whole new way of progressing your character, but be prepared to spend quite a lot of time gathering and crafting if you want to max any skill. Of course, you can also buy these gatherables in the market, but, um, you know, it's much more fun to gather them yourself, right? A really convenient mechanic is that your city storage is essentially global, so there is local storage, but you can access any town storage from uh, any other town, and that makes it much easier to manage your inventories. But speaking of towns, they're Interesting. Towns are governed by guilds and guilds can issue town projects in order to upgrade the crafting benches and other things in settlements. I don't know much about the mechanic, but sometimes when I go back to town, I haven't been in a while, 
I'll notice that the workbenches are different. They look different. They have different levels. So that that is fun. And of course, that guilds will fight for the regions. Guilds will fight for settlements. You can also do town tasks uh, to level up the reputation with that town, which will in turn give a certain buff per level, like storage space or gathering speed, for example. You can actually earn this reputation by killing mobs in the world as well, but the quests will be much more effective at doing it. And speaking of reputation, there's the faction system. There are essentially three factions in the game. I went with the Covenant, but you can also choose the Syndicate or the Marauders. I just love the covenant for some reason i think uh, they want to help people and i want to help people so that's that's really really cool despite being religious nuts which <laughs> i'm not very much one but uh, yeah if you choose one of the others there's nothing wrong with that the faction representatives in towns will have missions for you to earn reputation with the faction as you level up you unlock weapons armor and other goodies that will then be able to buy from that faction representative and they look pretty damn cool and on the later levels they they're really good, okay? They are really, really good. I am sure that I didn't touch on all aspects of the game until now, like the music mechanic that is a simplified Guitar Hero. I don't know if you remember Guitar Hero, that that was the game of the hour a while back, like 10 years ago. But um, yeah, that is really enjoyable. You, you get to stand in town and then you get to do this mechanic and you will play for everyone and give buffs to people. And then other people can join in with you and you guys can have a drummer, a guitar player, a mandolin player, and you guys can be just, <laughs> you know, it's just a really fun system. And uh, sometimes I will just sit in town and just start playing for everyone. Um, but yeah, so I found, I just found New World to be so enjoyable, so immersive. And that is exactly what I was looking in a game. It's not to say that there are no other MMOs that do this, of course. For example, Elder Scrolls Online comes to mind. But right now, I'm just enjoying New World thoroughly, like a lot. So if you're a casual, immersaholic MMO head like me, I would very much recommend you guys give New World a go, especially if you find it on a sale like I did. I think buying this on a sale is the best because the DLC is quite expensive, okay? The DLC is quite expensive. Like, I get it, they're giving us new content, but at the same time, it's like, okay, it's just mounts. Which other MMO doesn't have mounts? Which other MMO doesn't have swimming? So just just do it all and just put it in the game, all right? And, and for everyone to enjoy. But anyway, that's just a little bit of a rant. That's a nitpick, really. Will you get sucked into New World? Will you get sucked into the world of Aeternum, I guess? Um, like I myself was. Or will you wait for other games like Pax Day or Ashes of Creation? What do you think about this game? Let me know in the comments below. I've been Wolf and I'll see you next time.